Congratulations to Bruce Arians. I think a lot of people know his story, everything he's overcome, and his journey in the NFL. And it's a great story, and he's one of the most respected men in the sport. He also is quickly becoming one of the most important men in the sport. And we'll get back to the game specifically and what I think Tom Brady finally has in common with LeBron James 10 minutes from now. But right now I want to give Bruce Arians his due for how he has filled out his coaching staff. Because the NFL clearly, and Roger Goodell admitted as much just this weekend, has a massive problem when it comes to giving non-white folks the opportunity to rise up the coaching ranks to NFL head coach. And Bruce Arians, as a white guy, understands better than just about any NFL coach I've ever seen that if you are in the position of the majority and there is a consistent, unintentional, and hopefully, of course, it is unintentional, discrimination against the minority, you have a responsibility to use your position of power to elevate very well-deserving folks who otherwise are not getting opportunities to then show the world what they can do. So show me Bruce Arians, coordinators and assistant head coach, and you will see that is a staff that doesn't look like any other staff in the league. Todd Bowles was, in my opinion, the star of yesterday's game. The star was Todd Bowles and his scheme, and I think he will get another head coaching job based in large part on what he did last night. Byron Leftwich was calling the offense that was, after the opening two possessions, up and down the field on the defending Super Bowl champions, including one drive that was three inches from adding another touchdown early in the game when they were stopped at the goal line. Keith Armstrong's their special teams coordinator, and Harold Goodwin, the assistant head coach, we read this morning, he was back in the office. I think it was Harold. He was back in the office at 8 a.m. this morning breaking down the film. This is a wildly important thing for people in all fields who look like me to understand that the more opportunities you give folks who don't look like you, the more opportunities they are going to have to rise in the ranks. And by the way, it's not just black men. The Bucks also have two full-time women on their coaching staff. Their strength and conditioning coach, MJ, who everyone speaks so highly of, and Lori Locust, the defensive line coach. And with the success of the Bucks, one might argue, there's a bit of a market inefficiency when it comes to hiring non-white guys as coaches and coordinators, that you actually can fill out an even more uh, talented and adept staff because these people are being overlooked in other places. So kudos to Bruce Arians for doing his best to try to single-handedly help fix the NFL's hiring problems. Congrats to him on that. What Tom Brady finally has in common with LeBron next. <laughs>